to dig in a little deeper with weight codes, it's really very easy. Like you think a machine like this is pretty complicated, it's not. Again, you load a dual turret program into the lower, a milling program, almost like a five axis program into the upper, and then you step through it. Uh, typically, you don't want the milling spindle to be the first machine to act. So right when it gets its startup codes, you put in what's called an M900 number. So the way that this works is an M900 number, you'll put in M901, and both programs will run simultaneously. Whenever it sees, or the control sees an M900 uh, M code, it will stop. It will continue until the other program sees an M901. Now they're both at the same uh, spot and they can both continue simultaneously. The next waiting code will be an M902. And so you may have the lower turret do a, a, a lot of turning while the, M, the upper turret has an M901. It's been waiting, waiting, waiting. Finally, when the lower turret is done, you put an M901 in that code in the lower and then they continue and, and you just kind of ping pong back and forth. So it took a little bit of time for me to wrap my mind around this, but it really is such a great system. Now that being said, let's get to the good part. Let me walk you through some of this machining footage. So needless to say, I've got big plans for this machine. We're gonna do as much, not just turning, but prismatic parts, like square parts that you would never suspect came off of a lathe, but essentially it is. So if you like this type of machining content and you're getting value, consider subscribing, share it with someone that might like it, and until next time, go innovate your production.